Would you, as president, meet with the leaders of a country like North Korea? Obama extraordinarily said, I'd meet with him. Senator Obama made his intentions crystal clear on the campaign trail. I will meet, not just with our friends, but with our enemies. President Obama likes talking to dictators. He would meet with some of these madmen without any preconditions. You know, I'm going to reach out to these crazy people uh, around the world and try to get things done. Yeah. I think that's a mistake. Obama is bowing and scraping before dictators. What is Team Obama doing establishing formal contacts with these people? A remarkable turnaround in relations between two historic adversaries. The commander in chief's leadership is now leading to a major foreign policy breakthrough. Another stunning Donald Trump breakthrough. President Trump scoring a big win. It's time to celebrate a great victory when it happens. President Trump proves the experts wrong again and scores a stunning diplomatic triumph. How about this? The fact that all he wants is to get them back to the table as a precondition. Sure. Not, I'll give up. If you give up your nuclear weapons, then we'll talk. Why would the administration think that this is a group they could do business with? Uh, you know, I have no idea. Those who hate us will always hate us. And the hatred for America is never going to go away. It is a definite win for the president. And it's a huge win for this country. It's breathtaking, it's audacious, it's bold. Uh, it will be historic. I'm juiced about it. It will be magnificent for the people of Korea. It will be It'll magnificent for the, the world. Obama would personally negotiate with leaders of terrorist nations like Iran and North Korea without preconditions. Wow. The world will probably be a little bit safer. The media should be giving President Trump credit for that. I'm not sure there's any real discussing issues with Kim Jong-un. He may be the one president who would actually do this, who would go meet with the North Korean leader. Look, it's a bad idea for the president to speak to Kim Jong-un. Why wait till the end of May? Let's do this by the end of March. The current president truly believes that he's the chosen one, cannot deal with criticism. We are really in danger of living in a sort of pretty little dream world where Barack Obama thinks the power of his personality is going to have this incredible transformative impact on these crazy Kate, Kate, men all over the President Trump made the decision himself to meet face to face with Kim Jong-un. This guy has a very unique quality of leadership. He is so charming. He can deal with people. He can get along with people. I think that this will only work out well. The idea, which has been fanciful from the start, that we could talk North Korea out of its nuclear weapons program. You cannot make such a promise, not when you're dealing with these madmen who do want to destroy America. Is he going to stop on his way in Oslo to get the Nobel Peace Prize? If it works, he should get the Nobel Peace Prize. It would be something. You give that man the Nobel Prize, there's no question. But let's be, I mean, the chances of that are right around zero, I think. Will always be fair and balanced. Would not the left wing destroy Trump media?